2021 Porsche 911 Targa 4S Review But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Enjoying a convertible in the summer is easy. There's ample opportunity to drop the top when the sun is out and the temperatures are friendly. But the true measure of a good cabriolet is how it extends the convertible season into colder months. How well does the warm air stay in when the roof is down? Is there buffeting with the windows up? Are there adequate tools to keep not just your backside toasty, but your hands, feet, and neck? These are all questions we wondered after getting a call asking if we'd like to drive a 2021 Porsche 911 Targa 4S around southeastern Michigan in early March, when you can experience all four seasons over the span of a week. We didn't get that sort of variety during our time with the Targa, but seven days at the helm was enough to sample this coupe-slash-cabriolet hybrid in more difficult conditions than when we originally drove it last summer. Unsurprisingly, it still rocks. The 911 Targa's design calling card remains its top mechanism. The iconic Targa bar, fabric top, and wraparound rear window stand out from both the 911 Coupe and Cabriolet. In particular, we like the way the rear glass flows with the car's lines. It's a more cohesive design than what you get with other 911 body styles, even if the new rear glass does kind of marry a bustleback with a fastback. The silver Targa bar, it's available in black but just. No, adds a splash of contrast to the car's profile, while four available colors, black, brown, red, and blue, for the fabric roof allow further room for expression. Our tester is a conservative take on the Targa, though. While we'd opt for something more exotic, hello shark blue with a brown top, the night blue paint, silver bar, no-cost Carrera S wheels, and black roof will slip past the average motorist while receiving knowing nods from enthusiasts and Porsche files. Beyond the Targa-specific touches, this is the same basic 911 design Porsche introduced at the 2018 LA Auto Show, both inside and out. A swept back nose, an aggressively raked windshield, and fat rear haunches maintain the traditional 911 silhouette, while you'll still spot the front fenders when looking out the windshield. The cabin's horizontally oriented dash and tall center console dominate, with touch capacitive buttons on the lower section and a neatly integrated touchscreen above it. Material quality remains impressive, with attractive contrast stitching on our tester's dash. While this 911 sports the no-cost trim, we're okay with that, the textured finish at the bottom portion of the dash spans the cabin and feels suitably rich, while providing a nice contrast to the hero buttons just below the center display. We'll call the 911 Targa score here a soft 6, it earns that rating with its excellent 18-way adaptive sport seats, which afford a huge range of adjustability and are as cosseting and supportive as nearly anything in a competitive product. We'd happily spend hours in these chairs. The Targa also impresses with its solid control of noise, vibration, and harshness. With the top up and the exhaust set to its default mode, there's little to distinguish the Targa experience from the coupe. Even stiff winds struggle to get into the cabin, that's despite the frameless windows and the fabric center section or all the various moving parts that a breeze could conceivably sneak past. Road noise is more present, although the Targa is par for the 911 course, owing to its wide, staggered tires. Drop the roof and tap the little pop-up spoiler at the top of the windshield frame, and the 911 Targa is like a convertible with better manners. Wind control with the windows down is excellent, and if you put them up, it's very easy to have a conversation at highway speeds. Moreover, this excellent wind control makes the 911 Targa a solid choice for roofless antics in cold weather. We conquered our standard 85-mile drive route in below freezing temperatures, and with little more than a hat and gloves, spent most of the journey with the roof down. But in a few important ways, the Targa comes up short at this sort of work. A heated steering wheel, for example, is an optional extra. To be fair, it's dirt cheap at $280 for the standard unit or $590 for the heated GT Sport wheel. But this is a $135,000 car and well-heeled owners may not care for their hands getting cold because they forgot to tick a box. Heated seats, at least, are standard and our tester added ventilated seats via the premium pack, so it's set for hot weather driving. We'd also like to see Porsche come up with a version of Mercedes-Benz's air scarf. Little more than a vent built into the seat back, air scarf extends convertible season by blasting warm air on the driver and front passenger's necks. It's a plush touch that would feel at home in a product like the Targa, which does an otherwise excellent job as a cold weather convertible.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.